Two Lindbergh students who sent an experiment into space finally get to see the results. New at six after a three year wait due to COVID and a lost package, the experiment was returned to them. Meteorologist Jamie Travers was there when they opened their package to see the effects of space travel. Put a lot of tape on this. <laughs> yeah. A cube from space made its way back to Earth, and for these Lindbergh High School students, a hypothesis is put to the test. We're inspired by this like one story of this astronaut who uh, used duct tape to fix his um, equipment, and I, we're just thinking like, well, what else can we like have on there to make sure they quickly have access to equipment? That's why Barrage Pokerell and Dylan Rice, now juniors, decided to send different types of 3D printer plastic into space to see what impact space travel would have on the materials. And the long wait to see the results is finally over. 22.9. The mass of the printer plastic chips seems unchanged from before their long flight. Oh, that went down like 0.2, I think. And preliminary results for these two young researchers are positive. So far from just from looking at them, I think like the results are good just because it hasn't changed a lot. That means that space flight and just like the atmosphere of space won't really affect the 3D plastics. Hopefully we will be able to use these 3D plastics in space. We'll have to test for like malleability and stuff because it did seem a little bendy, but I haven't tested out the uh, control test, so I don't know if it's the same or not. A lot of long hours spent on this experiment have finally paid off and lifelong memories made that you can't find right. in a textbook. <laughs> At Lindbergh High I'm School, fine. Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News. They are some impressive young scientists. There's a lot of geniuses in this <laughs> yeah. newscast, don't we?